I survived 100 days on this block in Hardcore Minecraft. Every single item in the game is condensed into this one tiny block. In these 100 days, we will go through phases to collect all the resources we need to build a magnificent island and also defeat the Ender Dragon. Well, uh, here we are. We've got no food, no resources, but we have this one block right here. So what can this magical block do for us? I'm not sure. Oh! Duh. Hello? Hey, buddy. How are you? Uh, let me, let me... Let me give us a little more room here. I don't want you falling off. This is this is my best friend. Oh, I'm I'm so glad you're here. I thought I was gonna be lonely on this whole this whole trip together, but uh, we've got you. Oh, and we got the grass to spread. I'm too good. So essentially, if you don't know, this is how one block sky block works. We have this one magical infinite block that just gives us resources and chests over time. As we break the block, we will actually progress through stages, taking us through different biomes and different dimensions, and eventually the end. Oh no, we're losing blocks. Most of what we collect from this block is safe, but we do have to be careful because occasionally we will get bad mobs spawning trying to kill us. But for the most part, it's going to be safe and we're going to get friendly things like this little piggy right here. Oh, what was that noise? Why was there a villager noise? What was that? Was that you? No? Someone over there? Yeah? Oh. We have bedrock. Okay. So with this timer, does this mean we're progressing to the first stage? Block below you will regenerate. Yes, I know. Is that it? That's all you had to tell me? Okay. Well, thanks for the info, I guess. So our goal for this one block is just to collect as many resources as we can and create the ultimate one block sky block island and hopefully get a lot of riches as well as defeat the ender dragon and officially beat the game. All with our best friend here. I'm going to call you uh Bubba, you look like a Bubba. Come on, Bubba, don't fall off this island. I'll protect you as best I can. Oh, you know what? I have this block of water here, so let me do this. Very careful. And I'm gonna place a log under here because that'll be a little bit harder to break. That way we're not gonna lose our gravel or our sand. Well, we've got a decent amount of resources, so I guess we can start expanding this island. I don't know how rare dirt's going to be, so I'll probably start with slabs for now. Probably gonna be our best bet. What do you think? Is it a good idea for me to make a platform? Yeah, yeah, he likes it. He likes it. Okay. Well, I have no idea if hostile mobs are going to spawn, so maybe just for now, let's make ourselves some basic tools just to help keep me safe. I, I don't know if I'm going to come across anything bad, but I, I just want to be safe. Okay, this platform should help serve us nicely, and now you guys can, uh... You guys can get off my platform. Thank you. You can stay down there for now. So I don't know in which order phases will come to us, but what I do know is that each phase is longer and longer. So the first few phases are rather short, and then as we progress, the phases only get longer. I'm going to need to make some sort of animal farm here, won't I? Okay, since birchwood is useless and ugly, I can just use it for all my tools. Sorry to all my birch lovers out there. It's just not for me. Oh, hey, little buddy. Come on. Now, I know what to expect for the first few phases here because I have played one block skyblock before. We just never got super far in the world. But beyond the first couple of phases, I truthfully have no idea what to expect. So it's going to be a really fun adventure to see what happens. Oh, we got a sa Oh, we have saplings. Okay, I will eventually make a tree farm. But for now, let's just start placing some saplings around here randomly so that we can start to get some sort of tree growth. Then I'll have the torch be like right in the middle. <laughs> Oh, this is nice, yeah. I have one of those mods that uh, automatically switches tools for me, so I can just sit here, relax, and let it happen. Oh, oh, what, what are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hit you, buddy. Here's what I need to do. I need to get um, a small little farm growing just for now because I need at least a little bit of wheat so that uh, I can eventually get these animals in their own little farm area. Right now, they're just they're just really annoying. I'm sorry, Bubba. I don't really need to grow another melon. I guess I will. What? Why do the chests keep making... I'm so confused. If anyone has the knowledge as to why chests make villager noises, uh, please let me know. I, I, I don't know. Look at, all, look at all of them. No one knows what's going on. Can you stay off my chest, please? Oh, are we moving on to the next phase? All right, let's see what it is. I, I have no idea, but uh, we can put our other torch right here. Oh, it looks like... We have stone? Oh, yes! Finally, we have cobblestone and we can make stone tools. Oh, we're moving up in the world, Bubba, Bubba, Bubba. Uh, which one's the OG, Bubba? How am I supposed to know? Definitely using it. 
Yeah, it's you. Okay, well, according to the map maker's website, let's see. Excluding the tutorial and the after phases, which I'm not sure what that means, there are 10 phases in total, which are the plains, the underground, which we're at now, icy tundra, ocean, jungle, dungeon, red desert, the nether, idle, desolate land, and end. I assume once we get to the end, we'll have the option to defeat the dragon if we want. Okay, well, sounds good to me. Oh, and we have coal now. We're really moving up in the world. Isn't that right, Bubba? Okay, it's time to retire these old wooden tools and to move up in the world. Okay, I'm gonna make a little island for all of these mobs, but I want it to be grass just so it looks pretty, so I'm gonna make a line of dirt just so we can get the grass to spread. So I'm gonna try to keep my islands pretty consistent and use some sort of like a grid system almost. So we'll have this main island, which for now is just gonna stay like this, and then we'll build off with this little animal island which is mostly gonna be a pig island i can't finish it all at once but i know in no time we'll have more than enough resources so we can eventually work on that i've got an idea with how we can handle these animals ah here we go okay so eventually we'll have a lot more fences around this whole thing but for now we can have a series of fence gates sort of keeping the animals at bay well i don't really have any fully grown crops to uh persuade them to move now but we'll, we'll get there soon uh-huh yeah, there we go. Okay, we can at least get the piggies. That's that's a good start. Okay, I want I want everyone except for Bubba. Bubba's staying on the main island. He's the OG. He's allowed to be here. Oh, no. Come on. Single file. Okay, we did it. We did it. Come on. All the pigs in here. I mean, we don't have the cows or the sheep or the chicken where they need to be, but hey, at least we got one of them. Get ourselves a little baby Bubba. There we go. Ah, and we officially have our first tree. I still can't make a bed, so I guess we're forced to wait out the night. Oh, but actually, I can smelt this iron and make some shears. Uh-huh. But we only have one sheep. I think as time goes on, we will eventually get more sheep, but that might take a while. If I'm not mistaken, if I create some bowls here, you can sort of just use mushrooms as an infant food source. I'm... Pretty certain that I can just use a bowl on them as many times as I want for mushroom stew, which, granted, isn't a great food source, but you know what? It's a food source that I don't even have to work for. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Chill out, dude. Chill out. No, no, no. Uh-oh. 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 Hold on. We can talk about this. Yeah, there we go. I guess I really only need to keep one bowl around me, and we'll have an infinite food source. Okay. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Oh, no way. Oh. <gasps> You are the best sheep I have ever come across in my entire life. He gave us just enough wool for a bed. Oh, yes. I may not have a starter house yet, but I've got a bed. <laughs> now, along with the... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's talk about this. We can talk about this. Hold on, hold on. Let's have a conversation, please. Civilized adults here. Oh, no. Oh, wait, I know what I can do. Aha! You thought. As I was saying before I was interrupted by the zombies, I would really like to get myself a starter house going here as well as finish up this island for the animals. So I think our best bet is just collecting as many resources as we can and working on that house. Oh, we got some bunnies! What's up? Oh, 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 okay, okay. Chill out. Don't don't jump off the island. Here, let's let's let you go to the animal island. Come on. Come on. Where where'd you go? Oh no. I just saw him die. Well, have a bowl. Well, uh, I don't think we're really gonna be able to keep rabbits on this island unless I want to keep a too high wall fence around this entire thing. It's not- it's not gonna work out, I'm sorry. It's not you, it's me, but actually, actually it's you. So eventually, I want this whole area fenced off, not just for the safety of the animals, but also for my own safety because, you know, I'm stupid, I'm clumsy, and I know that about myself. And I don't want to accidentally fall off the edge. At least not anytime soon, hopefully. Do we have any of this grass spreading yet? Or is it just being really slow? Oh, we've got one block. Woo! What are you doing, little baby pig? You good over there? Oh, he's a little shy. It's okay. I get it. For those wondering, my texture pack is just vanilla tweaks. And I chose some really fun textures, including these 3D mushrooms. And then for my shader pack, I'm using BSL shaders. They're by far my favorite because they keep a mostly vanilla look and... Why is this the only tree that wants to grow? Come on. But BSL keeps a mostly vanilla look, doesn't affect my FPS much at all, and I think looks really nice. Okay, I'm going to try to start keeping my apples instead of a food source. I'm going to use them for golden apples because uh, I know sometimes some pretty nasty mobs spawn. Oh, 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 oh! No. No way did that just happen. What? Well, I didn't expect something like that to happen so soon, so uh, I'm going to build up some of the layers around here just to be safe and here's how we're going to approach this block instead oh wait 
Hey, we got a spruce sapling, so that's that's the good thing. We got the best tree type. <laughs> so I think the best way to go about this is building some sort of, like, protective barrier around the block. One that can't super easily be broken, and that way we can also, you know, mine the block from a distance while keep all the mobs in a secluded little area. Okay, so with this... <gasps> no. This pork chop. That must mean... Does that mean Bubba died? No, Bubba was blown up. I didn't even realize I lost him. I can't eat this pork chop. I, I, he needs to... Oh. I mean, I guess I can get a replacement Bubba for now, but... Oh man, I feel so bad. Well, anyways, we have this setup with the block here where I can easily access the block just like this from a distance, but the mobs can't get to me. I mean, if a skeleton wanted to shoot at me or a creeper wanted to come right here and blow me up, they could, but... You know, it's a little bit harder. I can I can sort of mine it from a distance, and then every once in a while, collect the drops, jump back up here, and it's all good. No, no, no. You're not going to give me this time. No, sir. I'm sorry, chicken. It was for your own good. I'm keeping you safe. Okay, so with all of our items in our chest, how much iron? Oh, we've got 13. Okay, let's smelt this and see if maybe we can start getting some iron tools, as well as maybe a little bit of armor and... Preferably a shield. I've had like two more creepers sneak up on me and uh, it's it's not pretty. <laughs> they do a lot of damage. Thankfully, for some reason with this map, their explosions seem to be like slightly delayed. I'm not sure if it's lag or something, but I can usually get far enough away that they don't hurt me too much. I've sort of just been AFK mining and we have a decent amount of resources, but we definitely could use some more. Ultimately, I would just like a few stacks of oak wood, spruce wood, and cobblestone all for a nice looking house. Okay, first thing I'm gonna make besides a shield is a chest plate immediately, just because chest plate does provide the most amount of armor, so it's gonna help protect me the most. I don't really care about my tools right now, I really care about my protection though. And we have a little bit more of this wheat to harvest. So we have six iron, I'll save it for a little bit of something else. I think I'll make some pants next. Um, oh, now we've got enough. I'm just not too concerned about getting myself iron tools because we're going through the durability of our tools like crazy. And so I'm not sure it's worth it to make iron, honestly. At least not yet. Maybe once we start getting some diamonds, whenever that is. Oh, dang, we've got a lot of dirt. Okay, let's uh, let's continue doing a little bit of work on this animal island here. Well, a pig just killed himself in the berries. What the heck, dude? Why would you do that? I don't, pigs are so dumb, man, I swear. Uh, I think I want this island to be pretty big. I'm gonna have a lot of animals on here, and I eventually want room to make individual stalls for each animal type, so we're gonna need to make this pretty big. I actually think putting some type of barn up here would look pretty nice, actually, so maybe we'll do that. Okay, I had to break the berries. Animals keep hurting themselves on it. All right, um, huh. The countdown has started, but I'm not sure what the next phase is. I don't remember. <laughs> uh... Oh, it's a snowy biome. Interesting. Oh, I think my shovel isn't registering. Okay, so does snowy biome mean more spruce wood and dark oak wood? Oh, I think it does. <laughs> well, I don't know if it means dark oak, but I hope it does. Realistically, all I actually need is the spruce wood because I want to build a really nice spruce house. Spruce wood is just the best. I'm sorry, it is. Oh, cool. We did get dark oak. And the animal farm is coming along nicely. It will probably become bigger in the future, but for now, I think this is a really good sized space, and we've got everyone just chilling alongside in here. And we almost have two of every animal. I just don't have two sheep yet, but, you know, I really... Here, have some food, buddy. Um, I really want to breed him. I would love more sheep, so hopefully we get one soon, maybe from this snowy biome. As much as I would love a pet wolf, um, I can't risk it killing my sheep. So I think I'm gonna have to do something pretty bad. Anyways. Yo, what are these dudes? Oh, fight it. Come on, fight it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Okay, I said let's grind out one more day of resource gathering and then make ourselves a house. Okay, we've got full iron and a good amount of resources now, so let's make this house. Alrighty, well, we have officially finished the platform, the house, and a little bit of decorating. So I decided to go for a small little spruce cottage, and I really like it. I also wanted an oak tree, so all I did was I grew one of the really tall oak trees. It was a little bit of trial and error. Um, and then I just added some logs to the bottom and a lantern. I think it looks really nice. The house, a pretty simple design, mostly just spruce wood, stripped spruce logs, some campfires, fences, normal details, and of course, flowers. 
I scratched up a little bit of bone meal and bone mealed the place, and then I picked some flowers for some pots. Now, as for inside, I just kind of have some random chests that, like, literally are not organized at all, but I'll figure that out pretty soon. Now that we have a house, we can actually finally start to clean up this middle island and get some chests out of here. I decided I want a little bit of grass around here, and eventually, this island also needs to be a little bit bigger, I think. It's just getting hard to keep track of everything. Like, this whole thing's a little bit of a mess, so I'm really glad we've got a starter house now. I think it's really pretty. I might eventually make a better house in the future, but again, this is just our starter house. It's got some good vibes. We got a map. Oh, I have a little map of my island now. That's pretty cool. Look at that. What I do want to do is grab some of the leather I have and make some item frames. One item frame will host the map, but I also want an item frame that is unfortunately going to act as a resting place for Bubba right here. We have his pork chop and he will forever be in my heart. Okay, so I'm gonna put Bubba right here above my bed. That way I can remember him every night before I go to bed. And then I'm not sure about the map, but maybe, huh. I don't know, maybe just right here for now? Guess it can just act as a house decoration for now. We can just get a good map of our island. This is where we're at right now. It's not much, but you know what? It'll look good pretty soon. Eventually, I want all these blank areas to be connected and we'll use some sort of block, maybe dirt or something to fill them up. I think it could look pretty cool. And then our animals are, of course, healthy, happy, and they're all thriving after I bred them all. So now we continue gathering resources, and we see what we can collect. Oh! Uh... I didn't expect that. You won't attack me, correct? We're buddies, we're friends, we're pals. I guess I'll keep you. Being completely honest, I know polar bears are terrifying in real life, but I think they're kind of cute. <laughs> like, look at his little snoot. How can you not like him? Maybe a fun project we could do is once we collect enough resources from each biome, we create different islands with different biomes. So we have like a tundra island, a plains island, which could just be our house. Maybe a spruce forest island. I don't know. We already have the two supposed plains biomes pretty much finished. Organization is not important to me right now, <laughs> so we'll worry about that later. These dudes just keep spawning and then they just end up attacking each other okay with all the trees and miscellaneous blocks gone this middle island looks much much better i think i'll need to expand it a little bit which i should have done before building these bridges but it's okay or maybe i'll just leave it small on purpose i'm not sure hello whoa what 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 is this what is this what is this what is this hold on hold on hold on hold on whoa 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 um hello excuse me that did way too much damage. And they can climb fences? How do I even kill him? Can this polar bear help me? Just, re I really need to kill the skeleton. He's the hard one. Oh, wait. I have a shield. I'm an idiot. I should have been using this the whole time. Ay, 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 ay. Oh. This is not good. This is not good. At least I do have a small amount of resources with me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Polar bear, why don't you help me instead of just huffing and puffing over there? Okay, we've got him. Come on. Oh, we're almost there. Please. Yes. Okay. Oh, we did it. All these slowness arrows. Dang. I really thought it was going to be dead there for a second. That was crazy intense. I don't like that one bit. Literally, all I have to do is get one of them to hit the other, and then they just willingly take each other out. Well, my plan going forward is just to collect a few more resources for some... Oh. Well, I guess I don't have a plan anymore. Um, As I was saying... My plan going forward is just to collect enough resources, mostly like dirt. I have a good amount of oak wood so that I can start a tree farm. And then once we have the tree farm in place, I also want to start maybe between these two, like a farming island. An island dedicated to growing pumpkins, melons, wheat, carrots, all that good stuff, just so we have a supply of all of it in case I ever need it for decoration or breeding animals or anything like that. The main one I need is just wheat so that I can breed cows because I think cows would be my main food source for a while. That's pretty much the best thing I have access to. Okay, uh, we've got a new one coming. Here, let's clear out our inventory first. Well, even though we finally got a diamond, I have the feeling they're still probably going to be fairly rare. So I'm not expecting to get many, but as we progress through the stages, I'm sure we'll get many, many more. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that scared me. I thought it was going to be something bad. I wonder if we're going to get guardians to spawn. This also seems like it's partially the ocean, too. Well, I think we've collected enough resources for a tree farm, but I've also been collecting a few fish here and there. And so, uh, I'm, I'm going to need to figure out something to do with them. I'm not sure right now. Now, now how the heck is it raining? No, I'm not going to deal with a thunderstorm. No, thank you. 
So while I was building that structure, I actually got hit with a pretty cool idea. So we've got our main island, our house, of course, the animal farm, which will be built upon in the future. And then we've got a tree farm. Now the dimensions of everything aren't quite perfect because that main island is a little smaller. So these two are spaced out a little oddly, but we have our tree farm here. And I figured that this could almost act as like a little bit of a park. So it doesn't look too pretty right now, but from now on, I'm gonna space out the dark oak, spruce, and oak trees throughout to look kind of nice. And then in this middle area, why don't we make this a true park combining these three areas just to look pretty. In the middle of this area, we can actually add ourselves a little pond using a lot of the aquatic resources we've gained. I'm going to try to lay out some sort of plan for this, mostly using dirt and oak wood planks since that's what I still have a ton of. And we'll see what it looks like. All right, so here's the blueprint for what I have so far. We have this descending staircase from the tree farm. And then this will eventually be a lush green park. Uh, I have a little bit of dirt right here just to spread some grass, but it looks like the grass is sort of spreading on its own adjacently, even though it's a few blocks down. I didn't know it could do that, but interesting. So what I'll probably have here is I will make this entire area dirt. Uh, I might need to collect a little more from there because I'm running kind of low. Uh, we'll probably place some fences around here or maybe even some glass or something like that and then have a big pond in the middle. Uh, it's either going to look really cool or it's going to be a big flop and I don't know which one it's going to be. So let's design this. And I guess just see how it looks once we're finished. Okay, well, here's the finished project, even completed with uh, a few animals from the eggs I threw. And of course, I had to let one little pig in. I think it's a nice little place here, though. I put some trees, some lanterns, we have some plants. I like it a lot. And uh, I put my fish in here, but where are they? Oh, there they are. I think since I had the fish in a bucket once, they won't despawn, but I'm not sure. It'll also be nice because it can at least be a place we can put, uh, look at these poor turtles. We can try to get them in there. I can probably break these fences and just push them in. Actually, let's try to do that. It's just a little more fitting than these walkways. Sorry, buddy. Welcome to your new home. Two turtles. I, I really like them. If you have any name suggestions for these turtles, let me know down in the comments below. I would really like a good name for these turtles. As for the polar bear, uh, he doesn't have a place yet. But I really like this grid system. Obviously, we only have these four islands so far, but just like we have, you know, two islands connecting off of these two sides of the middle square, I'd eventually like another island there and there, and then they'd probably also be connected in islands in the corner like the tree farm. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but that's the plan. And then in between them, we can make these little parks. Maybe I'll make one entirely aquatic. Maybe I'll make one the polar tundra for the polar bear. I'm not sure. I think the idea would be pretty cool. Or we could even make them different dimensions. Like we can make one nether themed and one end themed. I'm just kind of running some ideas right here. But I do really like the way this came out. Plus it's nice because if I'm ever being stupid like I am I right now, you know, the fences are supposed to protect me. But if I fall on the edge, at least this will catch my fall. I literally cannot come off even if I wanted to. I'm too protected. So yeah, this is really nice. I'm a big fan of this. Unfortunately, after this, I really have like no resources of any kind. So it's time to start getting some more. Okay, well, I've been collecting uh, materials in the jungle dungeon phase now for a little bit. But we actually have parrots and I want to tame them. Looks like we also have bats spawning. Is that correct? Oh, they must be spawning underneath the dark area here. That's really cool. Let's see if this is enough seeds to tame these parrots. I really hope it is because that'd be really cool to have some pet parrots here. Oh, we got one. And we got the second one. Hey, there we go. You know what? You guys should... Oh, my babies. You know what? These parrots can just stay at the park. We'll make them sit down. I think this is a good spot for them. They look pretty cute. Come on. Come on the land. Come on, Toucan Sam. There we go. Oh, nice. I love this little lively wildlife park. We have fish. We have turtles. We've got little chickens. We've got parrots. And there should be a pig somewhere. Is he in the tree farm? Nope, those aren't pigs. There was one pig, but I'm not sure where he went. Is he dead? Huh. Yeah, I don't know where he went. Well, let's keep collecting resources. I well, uh, interestingly, I've gotten a pig spawn egg for some reason. I mean... That's cool. I appreciate it, but like, I don't really, I don't really need more pigs. I've got enough, so I don't know why they would give me a pig spawn egg. I don't know if it's important for something, so I'm not going to use it just yet. I think we'll just keep this in our chest for now, and maybe there'll be a good use for it in the future. But I have no idea. Maybe it's just meant to be a silly and fun item to have. I, I really have no idea. For mining resources, a bit we've 
gotten a good amount of stuff, but our pickaxe broke, and I also realized I'm out of food. Like, I've got a couple pieces of food here and there in my chest, but besides that, I, I, I'm i starving, I'm starving, dude. I've got a horse now, but I've got no food. I guess I could eat him. No, 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 I can't do that. So, we have the tree farm on this side of our house, but on this side, how about we make ourselves a farm for food? Following me, dude. All of them just keep following me. I don't have anything for you. Get off the fences, you're gonna die. Okay, thank you. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it. Well, hey, we've got a horse. But yeah, let's make ourselves an island for some food so I don't starve. All right, so over here we have our wheat field. Uh, I may have gone a little bit overboard with the lanterns, but I think it looks really good. I also like with the shaders, the soft light that the lanterns provide. But I just wanted to make sure the wheat had sufficient light, and I think we're all good. I definitely don't have enough seeds to cover this whole thing, but pretty soon we will have enough wheat to supply us with more than enough bread than we could ever need, and we can also breed some cows and mushrooms. Eventually, I'll probably make a cow crusher farm so that we can get a great supply of beef and leather if we ever need it. So once this is all filled in and totally grown, I think it'll look like a really nice and beautiful wheat field. And, of course, I added a lantern in the center. I don't really like how it's floating because I don't, you know, I like everything to look real. But, you know, it's alright. So, let's keep collecting. Oh. Uh, hey, parrots. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's keep collecting some materials because, again, I'm pretty low on blocks after our last few builds. But, I've got a great consistent source of wood, thankfully. So, I just want to collect enough resources for us to be able to make a mob grinder. I've almost got enough diamonds pretty soon to make myself an enchantment table and i think within the next couple of phases here oh oh okay uh maybe not well as we're running uh i was gonna say i thought we were going to be able to uh hopefully be able to get enough materials to uh make myself an enchantment table so i want to make a mob farm but uh i have to kill these vexes first why is this a fence and not a gate okay now whose whose idea was it to add vexes i don't like this one bit clearing out this pathway so that i have enough room oh boy okay they're pretty spread out so maybe we'll be okay i don't want to accidentally hit something okay come on yeah take that oh he was a lot easier to kill than i thought this should be easy oh okay not the poison though not the poison okay okay the witch is stuck i just have to survive the poison and regenerate soon Whew, okay i think we're okay i think we're okay i just need to collect a little more food here okay i'm feeling i'm feeling okay some of the vexes are just kind of flying off they'll do their thing we just have to take care of this witch now that Vex, is he gonna come for us, or is he just gonna stay down there? Huh. You know what, if the, if the Vex wants to stay there, uh, I'm fine with that. Okay, we got her down. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We can survive the poison. Okay, I don't think I killed the Vexes, but if they just traveled far enough away, like, are they gonna eventually come and try to kill me, or will they just stay far away? Like, am I safe? I think we're safe. I don't really see any more name tags. Whew, that was crazy. At least we did it. Uh, I should really start keeping my shield on hand, but, you know, it wouldn't really have done much to save me from the witch or the vexes, which is why I really want to get an enchantment set up pretty soon, but, you know, that'll that'll come when it needs to come. Whew, okay. We made it through. That's, that's all that matters. That was really stressful. Oh, that's not an enderman. That's a creeper hiding in the trees. Why are you in the trees? What? I was far enough away. You can't tell me I wasn't far... Oh my gosh, okay. Let's repair our island, and uh, I don't know. So, I just harvested my wheat farm and replanted it because I was about to start working on the mob farm, and uh, I fear that this patch of grass has actually created a plains biome, so now pillagers think they can just spawn. Now, the issue is if I kill them, it's not a big deal because I can just, you know, take the bad omen effect and use some milk and get rid of it, but uh, Man, this is crazy. I think I'm just going to leave them alone and see if by leaving them alone for long enough, they'll eventually despawn. So that's my hope. I have no idea, but uh, fingers crossed because they've got, they've got crossbows and I don't want to mess with that right now. Dun, 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 dun. Here is our mob farm fully completed. All the other islands I've built thus far look pretty much the same, so I wanted to do a slightly different theme for this one, so we slowly change into the new one, and here we go. I had lots of cobblestone and a little bit of bossy cobblestone, so that's what I made the farm out of. And I AFK'd for one entire Minecraft day, and I've got not only a ton of XP, but also a decent amount of loot. And I'm also pretty shocked by the amount of music discs I've gotten, we have blocks, 
Far, Strad, Ward, uh, Eleven, <laughs> Stall, and Ward again. I I don't know if the skeletons were really killing the creepers up there or what was going on, but that's kind of crazy. I'm okay with it though. So even though this isn't the optimal location to be AFK, optimal location would be a little bit higher or lower. Hey, we're still getting a lot of drops just hanging out here. If I just hang around my island for a few minutes and then come back, we get a lot of mobs to kill. So this was definitely worth it and uh, I'm really glad we made this because this is going to be really nice going forward. You know, it's not the best XP farm in the game, but it'll definitely get us more than enough XP for our purposes because after just like one day, which was, I don't know, maybe like 12 minutes, we're at level 43. So that's pretty dang great. Everything else on the island is looking okay. Unfortunately, the pillagers did not go away. So let's keep mining until we get to the next phase because I'm curious to see what it is. Well, I've been mining in this new biome for a bit. It's the red desert phase and uh, we got a villager. I accidentally hit him because I thought it was a witch and he's freaking out, but uh, hopefully we stay good friends. Don't don't go near the pillagers, dude. Don't you dare. I'm sorry, Vincent. I love you too much. The drops from this uh, phase are actually pretty good, though. We're getting a lot of mesa blocks and blocks we would find in the desert and a red desert. But also, we have two diamonds already, so either we're just really lucky or this biome is finally going to get us a good amount of diamonds. I think I've got like maybe five or six in my chest so far. I can't do any enchanting with them. Oh, another one. Unfortunately, I can't do really any enchanting with this so far because I still don't have any obsidian. But hopefully the next phase is the nether and maybe there we'll be able to find some obsidian. I don't know. I'm really hoping. Or at least maybe some lava buckets. Well, wait a minute. We have a pillager, but he doesn't have any weapons. Can I let you go free? Since you don't have an axe or a crossbow, are you just... You're just gonna hang out? You're not gonna attack Vincent, are you? You're just chilling? I think he's just chilling. I don't know. That's kind of okay. Uh, you guys can chill in there in my house. Uh, wh what do I do with you? Are you? I mean, you can hang with us as long as you're not gonna kill us. I mean, I guess if he's got no weapon, then we're fine. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. He seems pretty cool, so maybe. Maybe we just keep him over here. It seems like he has no interest in us or the villager, but I'm going to keep a good eye on him just for a little bit of time. I don't trust anyone with eyebrows that big. Look at those things. Okay, according to the map's website, in the next phase, I should be able to get both lava buckets and obsidian, which means I'll need a diamond pickaxe, unfortunately, but hey, at least we'll be able to get it. Also, my island's starting to become way too overpopulated. I need to do something else soon. I don't know what to do. All right, well, a couple of days of mining later, and here we go. Uh, We're on to the next phase, which is the nether, I think. Now, I've got about half the amount of diamonds I need for like a full set of armor, full set of tools and all that stuff, but I'm pretty much there on the XP. I might be able to start off with level 30 enchantments right off the bat. I have a decent amount of leather for bookshelves, but oh, I don't have any sugar cane or paper. So I wonder if I need to find a villager that will allow me to trade for paper or for books or bookshelves. I can probably find one. I've got redstone so I can make some lecterns for some librarians. But let's see here. Yep, looks like we're on the nether phase. Okay, I'm really hoping we get some obsidian. Uh, or some lava? I don't know. Something good. Let's just do some mining and see what we get. Okay, with the hoe, we're going through this quick now. Oh, oh. Hey, buddies. Maybe I should keep them because I can uh trade for Eyes of Ender with gold and stuff, but I don't have a lot of gold, so I don't know if it's worth it yet. Oh! Ancient debris? I don't know if I can mine it with iron. Do I have to mine it with diamond? Or can I? Shoot, I don't know. Okay, Google's, Google says I need a diamond pickaxe, so let's make one. I don't want to run through this pickaxe, so I'll only use it once we get actual ancient debris. Uh, and save it for anything else. Oh, beautiful. Oh, and obsidian. Okay, that this is going to take a while to mine. But you know what? It'll be worth it because I think when we go to the nether, it'll be just a normal nether. Meaning, like, it's not going to be a weird sky nether. It'll just be literally the nether. And that's about it. We'll have the freedom to finally explore and get off a really tiny, isolated island. And we'll be able to raid some piglin bastions and nether fortresses. I can hopefully get myself some saddles finally for all these dang horses and llamas and everything I've got around here. Oh, more spawn eggs. This time it's a wolf. I can probably tame this one. I've gotten so many spawn eggs at this point. It's kind of crazy. Okay, well, let's just keep mining and see if we can get enough resources to make ourselves uh, another portal. Day 34 has just been mining. 
trying to collect enough obsidian and or lava buckets just to get to the nether. Oh, I hope we're done soon. Oh, actually, after this, I only needed one more piece. Huh, I spoke too soon. Well, here we are. We officially have enough obsidian plus our lava buckets to get ourselves to the nether, which is pretty cool. Except it only feels right that our nether portal has its own dedicated place. So how about we use some of the blocks we got from mining in this nether phase to make a nether island. I think that'd be very cool. I don't know if I have enough blocks to finish the whole thing, but we can always get some stuff from the nether to complete it. Actually, maybe I'll mine a little bit more first and then we'll make it. <laughs> well, before we go to the nether island and check out the nether itself, let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. And there we go. Okay. So, I don't have a lot of things to enchant, but let's do a little bit. Actually, if we're going to enchant anything iron, let's get all fresh tools and weapons. Well, I actually only need a helmet and chest plate because tools I'm going to go through in two seconds. I'm not going to bother enchanting those. And then we've got our gold boots to keep us safe from piglins. And, of course, the other pants we got. Uh, let's do protection one. And also protection one. Sharpness one. And then can I get unbreaking on my pickaxe just to keep it? Eh, we'll do efficiency. Okay. Well, this is a good start. I also gave myself uh, a fresh shield just to be safe. I don't know where to put this. Let's let's just leave this down here for now. Uh, just because I don't know what the nether really has in store, and uh, I want to be careful. So this little grid system I have for all these builds is going a little bit differently than planned, just because I kind of messed up by making this island smaller than the rest, and so that island's a weird distance, but... It's, it's almost perfect. It's just not quite perfect. Now, this nether island, I do intend on decorating more in the future. When I was initially trying to make the portal, I was messing up the lava, and I was going to use extra lava for decoration, but I don't have any now. But we can use some of the blocks we get from actually exploring the nether to decorate this island more. But you know what? It's good for a little start here. So, let's just do a little nether adventure, I guess. We can search around to see if we can find any piglin bastions, even though I'm probably too weak to raid those now. Uh, or we can just, uh, see what's around here. Nether Fortress would be ideal. That way we can get some potions, honestly. Till I can get more diamonds, uh, I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm not getting many diamonds in the nether phase. So hopefully in the next phase, which is the idol, we'll get some more. We should be pretty close, though, because I've mined a few stacks of blocks from the nether. And I remember the website saying there's only, like, six or seven hundred, I don't know, individual blocks to mine in each phase, roughly. Well, uh, let's explore around and see what there is to figure out. Now, the end phase, according to the website, does not have actual ender dragons, and I don't think it has an elytra either. But we can actually go to the end once we've finished all the phases. I don't know if that means once we've finished the end, or once we've also finished the after phases as well. I'm not really sure what the after phases is, if I'm being entirely honest. I'm all just going to have to figure it out. While we're here, though, if you are enjoying this video so far, please consider leaving a like and commenting and subscribing. All that good stuff. It really helps me out, especially on these videos that take literal weeks to finish. <laughs> and if you want to see 200 days in this world or more episodes like this, also let me know because, uh... I really appreciate your feedback, and I try to respond to as many people as I can. But if I don't find a fortress that I die, we might not even get to upload this video. Where where, where can I go? Man, this shader pack sucks for people that are colorblind, because it's it's really mushing all these red blocks together, and oh, my eyes are like, what is going on? We can stand to go a little bit higher. Maybe there's some stuff. I don't know. Oh, it feels good to actually be able to run around. I felt so confined in my little claustrophobic... Oh... Uh, I don't like this. Man, I wish this map was for 1.20 and had cherry wood because it's quickly become one of my new favorite blocks, especially to use with warped wood. It just, oh, it's such a good combination. Oh, wait a minute. Is this a piglin bastion? I do want to raid a bastion, but also I have to be very careful because a piglin brute right now with my armor, I think can one hit kill me. Or at least he can kill me in two hits because uh, I'm not, not, not very sturdy right now. Oh, well, let's try to scout this out. Oh, no. I don't like all those brutes. I might try to dig my way in their walls and then just try to figure out if I can just get the chests without having to confront the brutes. It would probably be our best course of action, because if there's a brute, I'm, I'm screwed, and I don't want to die. Hey, I'm through here. Don't mind me. I'm not doing anything. I might trigger them, so I protected myself, but can I access the chest from here if I, if I click really fast? Oh, I can, yes! Okay. We've found the solution. Uh-oh. Nope, nope, no, we didn't, no, we didn't, no, we didn't, no, we didn't, no! Okay, there's- Oh, the brutes started coming, but we're okay! Whew! Man, that- that would have been bad. Oh-ho! Soul speed- Oh! 
Golden apples. Okay, okay. Here we go. Yeah, this is nice. Uh, nothing too great in here, but I guess I'll take everything I can. Uh, ooh, and finally, yes, we got netherite upgrades. I forgot. Ooh. So this map isn't in 1.20, but my game client version is. So, uh... That means we get 1.20 spawns in nether chests. Well, we got pretty good returns from just this little trip. We got another netherite scrap, and I think I have like three or four back at home. So I can make one piece of something netherite. Now, I won't actually upgrade anything until we get full level 30 enchantments, which we don't have yet because I don't have bookshelves. I don't have sugarcane. I can maybe trade with villagers for one of those things, but uh... I don't know, I don't have many emeralds either. The only thing I might be able to do is get one farming villager that I can trade carrots and wheat for emeralds with, and then get another villager that I can trade those emeralds for bookshelves and or paper. I think that's going to have to be what we're going to set up, but I've got like two or three villagers, so we have the perfect amount to do it. Ugh, it'll be annoying, but unfortunately, it's what we have to do for success. Once we get those bookshelves, we can get everything we need for a perfect pickaxe or sword or armor piece, and then we can upgrade it with netherite. I still don't have enough diamonds, but hopefully we'll start getting some more soon. I know it's possible to get full diamond. I've seen other people do it. Let's keep looking around here and see if we can find a fortress. Been searching around for a while and still can't find anything. If we don't find anything else pretty soon, I'm gonna call it quits because I don't want to run out of food and my inventory is pretty full anyways. We can always come back here and honestly, you know, we don't really need a fortress. I think I might have gotten nether wart from a chest before, honestly. The only other thing we need is blaze rods, but we get random blaze spawns in the nether face sometimes. And I don't even need the blaze powder right now because we're not going to go to the end for quite a while. <laughs> I was just hoping to maybe find a fortress because frequently, if you're lucky, uh, you can actually get diamonds in fortress chests, which is a pretty dang good way to get some diamonds because uh, I need some diamonds. But maybe I'm just destined for a mediocre world. Okay, well, now that we're back in the overworld, let's get on with our plans. So, we definitely need two types of villagers right now. We need a villager that we can get emeralds from, probably by trading farm crops, and then we also need a villager that we can get books or bookshelves from. I believe we can get that from a librarian and a lectern. Eventually, we will also need a villager that gives mending books, but that's not as important right now. So, before we get these villagers set up, how about we make a small village island really fast? An island with small villager houses just as a place for our villagers to live. We've got three villagers right now, uh, and some wandering traders, and we can put some of our animals in there. I think that'll look pretty nice. I just have to gather a few more resources before we start with this. Okay, well, here we are, and our island is starting to look really good. Before we get started with the village island, I actually expanded out this island, made it all grass, and also expanded it out a block just to make it a little cleaner, have some more room. It felt really cluttered and too tight. And this farm is going crazy all the time. Anyways, here we have the village island. I went for a sort of like Nordic Viking inspired roof and just pretty simple village houses. We have our three villagers here. We have Mr. Arnold, our wandering trader. Um, unfortunately, Donald did not survive the journey. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, him aside, we also have some animals here. You know, donkeys, horses, llamas, alpacas, and our polar bear because I don't have any other place. So let's get our lectern and our composter. And what we need to do is get one villager that'll give us books or bookshelves. And then one villager that will give us some sort of farming trade. Either wheat for emeralds. Perfect. Um, that'll do it. And then we have to use our lectern to get another trade. And, uh, that's also perfect. What? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, th thank you guys for cooperating, but, uh, we should have some wheat already in our chest. So we'll use that wheat and, uh, the emeralds we have in our chest already to trade with the villagers. Okay. I haven't planted some carrots just in case, but, uh, looks like wheat is the way to go. Oh, that would have been bad. No, thank you. Almost fell. Wow, I can't believe... How lucky we got! I'm kind of speechless right now. That's that's kind of crazy. You know what? I'm not I'm not gonna complain or anything though. I mean, it's awesome. It's just a little unexpected, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'm checking my chests right now, and I'm an idiot because uh, I do have sugar cane, so I really didn't need to do any of that at all. But you know what? Too late now. <laughs> okay, let's see how many emeralds we can get and how many bookshelves we can get. I don't know if we'll be able to get the 15 we need, but we should be able to get a pretty decent amount, I think. Okay. 
Okay, we have 50 emeralds for now. Okay, we've got 50 emeralds for now. And he also lets us do pumpkins, okay. Now you, buddy. Well, we have five bookshelves. It's it's a good start. We, we can work with this. Okay, well, let's work with the sugar cane we do have. Can you bone meal sugar cane? I actually don't even know because I'm the new... No, you can't. Okay. Well, well, I don't think there's really any other method for getting these bookshelves besides what we have right here and maybe growing a little bit of sugarcane. So we'll just continue this process on and off and hopefully within, you know, like 10 or 20 Minecraft days, we'll be able to have enough bookshelves. You know, we already are a third of the way there, so we don't have too much more to go. So in the meantime, uh, let's continue mining and get to the next phase here just to see what there is. Well, I'm actually having a bit of luck with my search for emeralds because we're in the idle phase right now and I've gotten more than a few emerald ore and uh, looks like we're getting a lot of other really interesting blocks too. Like there's just random diamonds and ancient debris and honey and slime. I'm not sure what the point of this dimension is. I'm a little confused, but uh, oh, hey buddy. Like, why did we get a cod spawn egg? What was the point? We did get a beehive, though, so we can actually add that to our little park, and maybe the bee will move in. Actually, we should have this bee live right here. Hopefully, he comes to get it, because he might pollinate our farm if we're lucky. We'll slowly move him in that direction. Yeah, but this phase is a lot better than the nether, so I'm liking this. Plus, this might sound crazy, but I, I think I have more ancient debris than diamonds right now. <laughs> to do any of the upgrades, though, we're going to need a lot of diamonds, so hopefully we get a good amount in this phase. I have no idea what to expect. Okay, I don't know if there's actually a theme to the idle phase. Besides having, oh my gosh, a lot of quartz, uh, it just seems like it's random blocks and items from every other phase. We even got some cats, we got some bees, we got some more donkeys. I don't really know. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to the items we're getting. Oh, we got a skeleton horse, though. That's pretty cool. You know what? I still don't have a dang saddle, but you know what? I, I want a skeleton horse because these dudes are... Oh, they're so cool. Come on, get over there, dude. I don't even have room for all these. Come on. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you. Yeah, I did, but you deserved it. It's all right, though, because we're getting so many emeralds, so I'll be fine. Maybe I'm just crazy, but this feels like the longest phase ever okay i finally got a saddle i think it's my first saddle but i don't know so let's try to tame this zombie horse i really like him i like the skeleton horse too but uh zombie horse i'm, I'm really feeling right now he's kind of slow but you know what he's cool that's that's all that matters i guess nothing wrong with the horses they're just uh all crowding around the middle and it's kind of hard to manage them all oh I, do i just automatically have these horses tamed that's what it seems like this dude would fit nicely on the nether island there you go. There you go. Okay, we're moving on to the next phase. While we're doing that, let's harvest our wheat farm again, trade all that for emeralds, and see how many emeralds we have total. Okay, I've got seven bookshelves this far. I don't think we're going to have enough emeralds to finish our bookshelf collection, but we'll be able to get close, which is, I guess, what really matters. Still have a lot of time left in this world, so I'm not in too much of a rush. So before we trade, this is the desolate land phase? Yeah? Oh, is it supposed to be inspired by a stronghold? Oh, that's kind of cool. So it's like we're exploring the stronghold before we get to the end. Oh, we have mycelium. Okay. Oh. This is kind of cool. But yeah, this is the last phase before the end, but the end doesn't necessarily mean the dragon fight. Okay, we have 51 emeralds. Okay, we have 12 bookshelves total. We're close, we're close. We're very close. Three more bookshelves, which means 27 emeralds total. That shouldn't be too hard to get. Maybe just one or two more trades from the farm and we'll be there. Does this phase give any emeralds is my question. Uh-oh. My least favorite mob in the game. Well, actually, I don't know. Silverfish or baby zombies. One of them is my least favorite. What's your least favorite mob? Let me know. I'm curious. Because I hate these little buggers. Oh, they're so annoying. Whoa, 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 Oh. It didn't blow up my items. Just blew up one block. That's okay. It's fine. We got a rabbit spawn egg just so we can jump off the edge. So I'm hoping after one more harvest of this farm with the wheat, we'll have enough resources to uh, trade for enough emeralds. You know, I like having this auto tool mod, but it's not necessarily using tools 
to break things and I'm gonna lose durability. Anyways, I'm hoping we'll have enough emeralds after this. Also, if you notice, uh, I got myself a totem. That's because uh, we had some very interesting spawns in the middle there. We had a supercharged creeper, which almost killed me. And then we had an evoker, which almost killed me. But thankfully, I killed it first so that uh, I got the totem. So the totem will help me stay a lot more safe. However, I want to be very careful. Before mining any more of that middle block, I definitely need to get better armor and weapons. That's a non-negotiable right now. If another supercharged creeper sneaks up on me or we get another evoker, I could very easily die pretty quickly. So we're pausing progress on mining that block until we have fully enchanted diamonds. That's definitely what we need right now. Okay, fingers crossed we have enough wheat to get enough emeralds so that we can get this bookshelf. I need three more, please. <laughs> Even if we can only get two more, I might have enough sugarcane to make one bookshelf for myself. Nope, not enough. Well, can we make two bookshelves with what we have? I only need one more emerald for another bookshelf, but let's see what we can do. Okay, we're leaving one sugarcane just so I don't use all my supply. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally use it all up. That would be bad. Oh, okay. I think we're good here. Perfect. I didn't even need to do the trade. Okay. Do I have any space for this enchantment table right now? Because I don't really have a ton of extra resources to be, like, making a new island right now. An enchantment island would be cool. We can make, like, a wizard tower, but that'll come in the future. We can put it inside of here. Here's what we'll do. It's not the prettiest, but here we have it. Let's go see how many diamonds we have and what kind of magic we can make happen. Fingers crossed. Well, we're actually a heck of a lot richer than I thought. Uh, we've got 32 diamonds and then total we've got uh, nine pieces of netherite scrap. But the diamond is coming first. Full diamond armor is a necessity to keep myself protected. And then probably another diamond pickaxe just because ours is suffering and I don't see the point in repairing it. Uh, diamond sword can be disenchanted, so let's do a diamond axe, and then a diamond shovel, and we'll have one more left over. Say goodbye to these crappy tools. Yeah, get out of here. Okay, what kind of enchantments can we make happen? I'm only gonna do one level 30 enchantment for each right now. I'm not gonna be too worried about perfect enchantments. Ooh, we got silk touch. Okay, I might keep that. We'll have to see. We'll see if it's worth it. Okay, shovel is good. That's good. <laughs> Axe is also good. Okay, we're moving up in the world. Let's make a grindstone. I've got stone to make it. I would usually prefer fortune over silk touch, but maybe I'll only use a silk touch pick. Most of the diamonds we're probably going to get in the future will probably just come from end city chests, honestly. Oh, we got fortune three and we have silk touch, huh? Okay, I'll figure that out. Okay, well, guess we're going back to the XP farm. I'm just going to get the best level 30 enchantment that I can do. Uh, okay, well, I'm officially 100% out of lapis, so here's what I could scrounge up. The helmet, we got a pretty good enchantment our second try. Uh, I only have protection 3 on these two because I'm not going to try for protection 4. We didn't get it, so whatever. Also, protection 3 only on the boots. Pickaxe, I went for the fortune pickaxe. Our tools are alright with efficiency 4. Do you mind? I'm trying to have a moment here. And then sword, I got sharpness four, looting three on my second enchantment. So we're going to stick with that because it's it's okay. It's it's decent enough. Let's say goodbye to this armor. I don't need that either. <laughs> so we are much more protected now. So we have the netherite upgrade. And unfortunately, to craft more, I need diamond. So I can make a smithing table and I could enchant one thing to netherite, I guess. Because I at least want to keep one of these so I can craft more. I guess my helmet could go for it, but... Eh, I'll worry about that later. For now, I think our best bet is to get through more of this phase, just because we're a little more prepared now. And then after that, we'll be in the end phase. We finished the end phase, and we're in the end. Now, being in the end will be great for us because it's 1.20, so we'll have access to armor trims. Uh, but also, I can usually get a decent amount of diamonds from end city chests. Plus, we can bring some rockets with us, get an elytra, and we can easily just fly around. With our new powerful armor and weapons, we should be able to easily handle any threats this block throws at us. But I don't know. I'm hoping. This honestly isn't too hard. Like, I don't use a lot of food since a lot of my work is just standing here. Uh... The only hard part is when occasional strong enemies spawn. But we shouldn't have too much longer left on this phase. So I looked it up and the after phases in this map are basically just random blocks, random mobs, and random chests. Which come after you finish the end phase. But there's about 6,500 blocks before you get there. And total, we've mined 
almost 6,000, which means we're almost done at this phase, and then we just have the end phase, which has about six to 700 blocks as well. So let's wrap this phase up and see what kind of items wait us in the end. Can you back off, donkey? I'm trying to mine here. Also, if anyone's wondering how I get small totems and bushy tree leaves and all that stuff, I use vanilla tweaks. Uh, they have like a small item texture where you can make items in your offhand a little smaller, which I like because uh, I don't like when totems take up my entire screen. Same with shields. Well, here we are in the end phase, so I guess we just have to mine through these five, six, seven hundred blocks, however many it is. And after the end phase, I guess what's going to happen is an end portal will spawn underneath the infinite block. And then we're ready to go. Now, right now, I don't even have any Eyes of Ender, so we'll still have to take a trip to the Nether to get those, and we'll have to get some Blaze Rods too. I've got a little bit in my chests here, but not a ton. But unless the portal's activated already, then we can just hop in when we want, and I guess we're good to go. Um, okay. I don't know what just happened. Uh, I was mining, and randomly it said, The end is near. And that was about it. I guess the end portal just spawns. We need one, two, three, four more Eyes of Ender total, which really isn't a lot. Okay, that's pretty... Oh, where is there a shulker? Hello? Huh. Let's see if we can make the rest of the Eyes of Ender we need. We also do have a few phantom membranes, so I can make a few slow falling potions. Oh, oh, I guess... Okay, that's going to start the after phases. Now this portal. Oh, there he is. I see him. Okay. Okay, well, there it is. Uh... We have the portal. <laughs> well, before we go in, let's take a moment and get ourselves organized. Maybe make some slow falling potions, check if maybe I can get myself an infinity bow on the first or second try if we're lucky. Uh, and all that sort of stuff just to get prepared for the dragon fight. Let's get to level 30 one more time. You know what, even if we don't get infinity, we probably have enough dang arrows that it doesn't matter because I've gotten so many arrows from killing all these mobs and... In all these chests, we probably have a few stacks of arrows, honestly. So we're probably okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't need infinity. Oh. Okay, creeper. Huh. But I really just want to... Okay, so this is the after phases, right? Yeah, just totally random blocks. Okay, cool. So yeah, I want to defeat the Ender Dragon, but mostly I want to explore end cities for diamonds and... Arnold, you're an idiot. Um, For diamonds and for an elytra, obviously. It'll really help for flying around our islands. Okay, power three, I guess I'll take it by itself. You know what, let's enchant one more bow. I can enchant one of these broken bows and we can get to level 30 easily, killing a few mobs. Then good, even if we get another power three bow, I can at least combine two of them. That'd be nice. Okay, there we go, power four. You know what, that's pretty good. I'll take it and it's good enough for now. Take a few stacks of arrows. Okay, let's get ourselves some slow falling potions, maybe a couple water buckets, and some building blocks, and we should be all set to, uh, fight this dragon. I'm excited. Okay, now we had redstone. Also harvested a sugar cane and used everything we had to make as many firework rockets as we could. So we've got these now. Okay, cobblestone is a nice trash block, and these are all good. Well, we've got everything, our potions, our trash blocks, water bucket, the arrows, and anything I can need. I think we're all set to fight the dragon. Do I really need anything else? I don't care about dragon's breath. I've got food, golden apples. I think we're ready. I've also collected for myself another stack of bread, uh, just from harvesting the farm again. Just in case we're in the end for a long time looking for cities. Uh, it might be very useful. So, let's jump in and head to the end. Ooh, I'm scared. Huh. Now, why is there a bridge already going to the end island? Is this... Is this because it's a map? Like, if this is a pre-made map, then that makes sense. But I, I didn't make that. Unless that's just how it spawned, naturally. Uh. Uh, okay. That's a little weird. Well, I guess let's grab these towers. Okay. So we'll take the slow falling now, just in case the dragon knocks us off. And then what we can do is, uh, we might be able to get a good amount of the towers just from right here. Oh wow, I'm good at this. Come on. Okay, only two left, and those require some building. Actually, what if I just do this? Can I land? Oh, no way, no way. Oh, I did it! <laughs> yes! Oh, I'm too good. Okay, this might hurt. Oh, we're okay. Let's see if I can do it again with the slow falling. 
How high can I get? Ooh. Okay, well, I got a decent amount. Okay, cool. Ah, uh, we got the towers. That was the quickest I've ever done it. Hopefully that means, uh, good luck for the rest of this run too, but I guess let's just try to start shooting this dragon. Oh, not with that though. Okay, I don't have unlimited arrows, but I do have nearly four stacks, and I don't think we'll go through that entire thing here. So I'll just try to shoot the dragon when I can. Oh, I gotta get behind you. Oh, wow. We did a lot there. Okay, well, we're almost done with this. Come here, buddy. We're going down. Oh, come on. We're almost there. Oh, we did it. Yes. Okay. Give me all that wonderful XP. Come on. Get over here. Yeah, baby. Gotta take a screenshot. A screenshot every time I defeat the dragon. That was a quick fight. That took me like four minutes. Heck yeah. Give me all that XP. Now we can go back and officially get perfect armor, weapons, tools, all that good stuff. Right there. And boom. We got the egg. Now I just need a couple of ender pearls so I can go through this portal. Okay, so ender pearl, boom. Nope. Oh, yep. Okay, here we are. Now let's look for an end city. Oh man, I don't have Optifine so I can't turn off the fog. No. Huh. Well, I don't think there's an end city anywhere nearby, so I'll have to just use ender pearls to uh bounce from island to island and hope for the best. Now, this is why I brought a lot of food intentionally, because I knew I might have to spend a long time going between islands, but thankfully, we've got ender pearls and blocks to, uh, move around. Um, I need to figure out a solution, because, uh, no joke, it's been about an hour, and I have not been able to find a single end city. I'm literally just walking from island to island, using ender pearls, killing endermen, or mining end stone when I need to and just bridging between them. Uh, I hope I find one soon. Normally they're pretty easy to spot. I'm sure I've gone past some, but with this fog, it's uh, it's kind of tricky and there's nothing I can... Is that an end city? No, it's just another portal. Um, there's nothing I can really do. So, uh, wish me luck. Well, I guess wishing me luck doesn't do anything because I'm playing this in the past from when you're watching it, even though it's the present for me, but time isn't real. So I'm a little confused what I was trying to say, but I don't know where to go. Oh. I mean, I'm like a few thousand blocks away, so surely I'll I'll find one soon, right? I even experimented eating some chorus fruit, so if I ever run out of food, it's, it's it's no big deal. Ladies and gentlemen, I think no way. Is that it? <gasps> I think that's it. I think in the fog I see an end city. Oh, please, please be an end city. It is. That this is a beautiful sight. You have no idea. It's been like three and a half hours. Not that long. I'm exaggerating. But it's been a long time. I've been looking for these end cities. Please tell me it has a ship. Oh, and it has a ship. I couldn't have asked for anything more. This is beautiful. Okay, okay, okay. Let's bridge over to this island and we'll enter Pearl our way there. You think I can make it? Let's try. Oh, please. Oh, just barely. Okay, let's head to the city. The end cities with shaders, though, do look gorgeous. I mean, they almost have, like, a slight ominous beauty to them. Like, they're a little scary, but also pretty at the same time. I don't know. I like it. While we're here, I will also collect shulker boxes. I got a few shulker shells from the end phase, mining the one block, but nothing crazy. So I'll probably try to get more from here just because, you know, I'm not sure if I want to continue this world past 100 days or not. It's really just going to depend how the video performs and what people want. But, you know, if it does well, hey, I'll do it. Why not? But if I do want to continue this world, shulker boxes are definitely going to be useful. Dang, all the shulkers just keep teleporting away from me. Let me kill one of you. Come on. I just want, I just want a couple shells, man. It's not that deep. Um, nothing that good. Okay. Ooh, Unbreaking 3 Mending. Okay, I'll take that. Uh, the Iron Armor I'm not going to take. Unbreaking... Ooh, these are better than the boots I have. Let's equip these. Nice, we got some pretty much perfect boots. Heck yeah. We can combine them with the Depth Strider ones if I really want, but I don't know if we really need Depth Strider because there's not really any oceans or rivers or lakes to worry about. Uh, this world is pretty much just all... Uh, all air. Well, I think everything else is empty, so let's try to head to this end ship now. I think this is what I can do. On the ship. 
Lovely. Okay, let me grab this dragon head. Perfect. And we'll grab the elytra. Okay, I don't need anything else. So, uh, here we go. We have it. I wish I brought a crafting table so I could make some shulker boxes right now, but, uh... Well, sweet, we've gotten a lightra. So with this end city, let's go out and find hopefully one more end city. I want to see if we can find some with some diamonds in the chest or potentially an armor trim. Now, if this end island was preloaded, uh, because I have my suspicions because of that little thing we saw when we first spawned in, that means that there aren't going to be armor trims because this island was loaded in before 1.20. However, there is still a chance if it wasn't loaded in. Regardless, either way, there's still a high chance to find diamonds spawning in end city chests. So I want to check out maybe one more end city just to hopefully find some. It should be a lot easier to find one now, though, because we've got this elytra. And this will make exploring end cities a lot easier and also uh, a lot more fun. I just have to be careful because I don't have on breaking three. I'll be on the lookout for the sky. Oh, well, this one was right next door, so great. We can get an extra elytra in case this one breaks or, I don't know, something happens. Oh, there's the diamonds I was talking about. Uh, ooh, mending and efficiency four. Heck yeah, I'll take that. Efficiency five pickaxe. Hell yeah, this is the perfect chest. This is exactly what I was talking about, man. Combine these pants to get a perfect pair of pants. This is great. Oh, man, we're getting lucky. Okay, let's throw some of this stuff in an ender chest for now, and then I can just make an ender chest when I get home and collect it. I'll just take all the armor, why not? Uh, ooh, brought four, okay, nice. Okay, I think this is the last one now. Ooh. I don't think there's anything else with loot. Oh, don't kill me. Get me out of here. No, no, no. Let me get out, let me get out, let me get out. Got it. Yeah, uh, I think we're good. Okay, well, I think it's time to just look for another portal because we've spent way, way too long in here. Like, I, I didn't want to do all this. A <laughs> hundred days in Minecraft isn't a super long time, and so I like to put most of the footage in the video, and so I don't like when I have to spend a few hours doing something that I really can't put in. I'm not just going to put in hours of me walking. Okay, well, we're back here. Uh, Let's pray I have enough... Actually, I know I don't have enough obsidian. Uh, I know I don't have enough obsidian to uh, to make an ender chest, but I might be able to mine the corners of this nether portal, and then we'll have enough. Skelly, what are you doing? Go back. Go back to the overworld. Oh, this is so nice. Look at this. I can just fly over, fly wherever I want, and we can get a great view. Oh, wow. Our island looks good. It's really big. I mean, we're going to expand it more in the future here, but I like where we're at so far. So, let's organize ourselves and figure out our next step. Okay, first, let's see what armor, weapons, or tools, and all that stuff I can combine to make it perfect, or at least better. I do need mending, but that'll come in the future. I'm not gonna bother combining the boots, because Depth Strider isn't needed. And this will give us Unbreaking 3 Mending, Prot 4, Perfect Legging. Plus Protection 4, Unbreaking 3. We can do Aqua Affinity and Respiration on a Helmet. Why not? Maybe we'll make an underwater build. And then this can be Efficiency 5. And then our shovel is perfect. Yes, perfect enchantments on a shovel. Okay, sweet. We've got a lot of pieces of perfect armor. There's some missing, but you know what? We're, we're in a pretty good place. Everything's perfect, uh, except our helmet and our chest piece need mending, which we can get from a villager and we can do some trading in the future. I'm not too worried about that. And then our shovel's perfect. Our pickaxe is perfect. Axe is almost perfect. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't have the XP to really do anything more right now. Thankfully, it really doesn't take me long to get to level 30 in terms of XP, because this farm, as long as I'm standing close by, uh, it works pretty fast. Uh-oh, where'd these slabs go? Okay, so here's our netherite situation. We've got lots of gold. <laughs> so to craft more of this, you need diamonds and netherrack. Okay, let's go. Got the netherrack. We have five total right now. I'm going to leave one in my ender chest because we always need one. And then a smithing table, which I believe is a crafting table with iron. Yes. Well, our boots are perfect, so let's do our boots first. 
It actually doesn't matter because we're going to put mending on everything else with a mending book. And you can put a book on netherite or diamond just the same. But you know what? This is a good starting place. We've got one netherite scrap and it shouldn't be too hard to get all the netherite we need for uh, a full set, honestly. So let's work on that. I think it would be a great goal if we ended this 100 days with full netherite armor, weapons, and tools. And all those armor, weapons, and tools were perfectly enchanted. And to get some of the last bit of enchanting we need from the enchantment table, we'll get enough quartz and XP from mining for netherite, honestly. But I feel strong enough to uh, not really need fire resistance potions right now. I think we'll be good without those, if I'm being honest. So, let's head to the nether. And we'll head down to a low Y level and just mine for some ancient debris. I want enough netherite for at least my armor set. That's the minimum goal I want, depending on how my luck is and how much time this is taking. We'll see if I get to my armor, or we'll see if I get to my tools and weapons. I don't know just yet. Hmm, I don't know where to mine, but I guess we could just use this now. I'll try not to use all the rockets, but there we go. <laughs> I do have to be careful about one thing. I do know that uh, mining a lot of netherrack, since it mines so quick, is going to wear down my pickaxe durability like nothing else. So uh, my pickaxe might break before I even get to finish this. We might have to go back and repair it a couple of times, but I'll try not to go too far. Why don't we just dig down right here and see if this is a suitable area? Well, uh, we're at the perfect Y level, about Y level 14, 15... Oh, I swear that was not planned. Uh, <laughs> anyways, we're at the perfect Y level, about 14 or 15, so I guess what I'll do is... I'll just mine straight until we hit uh, a lava pool or somewhere where we have to turn around if we're in an unfavorable biome. And then we'll just start a tunnel a couple blocks in a different direction. Now, hear me out. People in the Minecraft community love to argue about netherite mining. People always say you'll mine way more ancient debris if you mine directly on the chunk borders. But here's the, the thing. Uh, I tested it out and... I didn't get any more netherite mining on the chunk borders versus in the middle of chunks. In fact, maybe it was just my luck, but I tried in two different worlds and I got significantly more netherite mining in the middle of chunks rather than on borders. In theory, mining on chunk borders makes sense because you only get one spawn per chunk. But in practice, it didn't really come out that way. So if you're mining netherite, do it whichever way you want. Sometimes I also just like to go crazy and mine random tunnels like this, but I'm trying to stay organized right now. So this is the way I'm going to do it. I'm just going to mine straight forward. Uh, might miss an occasional piece here or there, but I'll try my best not to miss any. The color blindness is sometimes a little wild. Plus, it's hard to see when it's just dark like this. Okay, see, this is what I mean. The Basalt Delta mining's a lot slower, so we'll go a couple blocks in this direction. Well, actually, before I go a couple blocks in that direction, I will check out the mine we currently have just to make sure I didn't miss any ancient debris and then we'll start another mine in the next direction and it'll be good we'll just keep doing this until we get some more netherite well I've been mining through a few more tunnels and honestly all I have to show is a slightly broken pickaxe and one more piece of ancient debris so instead of doing the organized tunnels I've just decided to wing it and I'm gonna do the crazy tunnels again because honestly I feel like doing this method I mine a lot more blocks a lot faster maybe it's not the most efficient but exposing so many more blocks feels like it's Probably going to give me a higher return in netherite. It's what I've always used in the past and it works for me. So let's continue doing this and see if it helps at all. I have no idea. Okay, well, I better stop before my pickaxe breaks, because it's about to break here. But we've got 16 more pieces of ancient debris, which is, you know, four more netherite ingots, which is pretty okay. Not as many as I quite hoped for, but it's a good start. So, since I don't want to break my pickaxe, let's just go back through the tunnels we originally made and uh, make our way back to the portal. I think we can get back there eventually. I'm not 100% I know the route, but I think we can find it just following in our footsteps. Okay, we're back here. Let's uh, see if I can at least put a couple diamonds on my pickaxe to repair it. I was going to do an enchantment, but I think that's more important. I don't know when I'm going to get bending, and I don't want to accidentally break this because I am stupid. Also, where did I put my shovel? Oh, here it is. Huh, I don't know why I put it in there. Well, I've only got two diamonds, and we're going to need more to upgrade for netherite, so I guess we've still got a little bit of mining to do. I want it to be done, but I guess we're not. Before we do some mining, let's actually get a lectern just so I can get a mending book somehow and put mending on this. I've got some emeralds hidden around in random chests. I'm sure we can scrounge up the 20 or 30 we need for a mending book. Where are you, Vincent? Are you in here? No? Vincent, where are you? I need you, buddy. 
Uh, anyways, you want a job? Yeah? Nope. Okay. Can Mateo get out of the house so we can just have a moment here? Okay, with this setup, Vincent's stuck in the house so we can just, uh, constantly break this and place it again. Until we get mending. I like this method because, you know, it's foolproof and it does work. The only issue is, sometimes I literally get mending on the first or second try. Sometimes it takes me five minutes, and other times it's taken me upwards of an hour to get a mending trade. So I'm really praying that my luck is a little bit better today because I don't want to waste days on trying to get a dang mending book. Come on, Vincent, please. Please give me mending. No. Fear this might take a while. Oh gosh, I hit him. He's going to be extra expensive now. Okay, it's a new day. Uh, we've got a mending trade, and I gotta act fast and get all the emeralds I can so I can make the trade happen. Uh-oh, I don't have enough emeralds. Uh, okay, let's let's do another wheat trade from this farm, and hopefully that'll be enough. I really have no idea, so fingers crossed. If it's not, maybe I can figure out some trades with the other villagers. I think one of the villagers is, like, books for emeralds. I can probably get a few books somehow. I think I've got an extra bookshelf or two. I don't know, honestly. All my chests are so disorganized. Uh, <laughs> if I do 200 days in this world, that's the first thing I'm doing, a storage room. Oh, shoot. Actually, since I slept, does that mean the trade is ruined or is the trade still there? Oh, gosh. I really hope I didn't mess it up. It gives me 25. Vincent, buddy. Are we, are we, are we in good standing still? No, I lost it. No, because I slept. Oh, I got the trade in the middle of the night and I slept to make this segment a new day. And oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's replant the farm really fast. But we've got 25 emeralds now. So if we ever get the mending trade again, this should be enough to get it. I'm so stupid for messing this up. Hopefully it doesn't take us too long to get mending again. I don't think it will take us too long, but uh, I don't know. Sometimes this game likes to prank me. I really have no idea. I totally forgot that sleeping would reset it since I never traded with him to lock it in. I should have known that. Ugh. I've learned my lesson now. Okay, we've got the mending trade. It's still the same day. It only took me like two minutes this time. Uh, let's not sleep. And I need a book to complete this trade. I've got to have one singular book. Right? Oh, I saw one. There it is. Okay, cool. Book plus exactly the right amount of emeralds equals mending book for our pickaxe. I need this mending book so I can get to mining again. Oh, lovely. Okay, I'll fix your house for you. There we go. Are we good now? Yeah, we're good. Okay, mending doesn't cost too much, thankfully. So now we finally got it, which... Whew, thank, thank the gods. Okay, sweet. So now we have to get back to mining so that hopefully we can upgrade all of our armor and whatnot, but I don't know if we're going to get a lot of diamonds from the after phases. Well, I'll test it out for a little bit and... We'll, we'll see. It might really be worth my while to head back to the end, honestly, but uh, I don't know. In case I do need more firework rockets, let's start planning a little bit more sugar cane. I could make a sugar cane farm, but we don't have much left in this world, and uh, I'm not going to waste my time doing that. There are some pretty cool things we'll accomplish before this end of the world, though, so I don't want to miss that. Man, the after phases are fun. The only issue is there's so many, like, random items that my inventory is filling up in two seconds, and uh, it's kind of hard because I just have to go to my chest every minute. And I don't like these random mobs we're getting. But I just need a few more diamonds, so hopefully we don't have to spend too much more time here. We'll see how much mining I have to do. After another day, I've only got a whopping two diamonds. <laughs> I'm not having great luck here, but I only need... Oh, come on. I only need a few more. These guys are pretty easy at this point, honestly. Honestly, the mob spawns are just inconvenient. It's not really a challenge or anything. I'm just... It's just annoying. <laughs> okay, there we go. <sighs> Let's hope we can get some more diamonds here. Besides the diamonds, I'm literally just throwing every other item I get off the edge. Truthfully, I just, like, don't need them. I don't know. Okay, I'll let these skeletons fight. I've got so much junk in my chests. What? You killed my parrot? Okay, no, I'm taking revenge. You're supposed to shoot each other, not my pets. Oh, come on, man. Oh, I feel bad. I'm sorry, Mr. Perry. He was just trying to live a good life. <sighs> Dang, diamonds really aren't that common at all in the after phases. I was hoping for much better diamond luck. Was that another one? Nope. Okay, so let's take this. And then do I have any more gold ingots or is it all raw? Okay, is this enough? Yeah, yeah, it is. 
So then I've got I've only got four of these, but uh we can do it. I already have Oh no, I have to leave one here. Okay. Well we have enough for our full set of armor, so that's good. Oh wait. I'm stupid. I don't even need diamonds to upgrade this. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, I needed diamonds to craft more upgrades. That's what I wanted, because I want an upgrade for my pickaxe now. Okay. Well, uh, how many diamonds do I need? I need six. Okay, so I actually need two more diamonds. I'm, uh, you can tell I've been in this world too long. I'm exhausted. My brain ain't working. Okay, so two more diamonds. I think that's doable, and then we can get netherite pickaxe. I think we can do it. Okay, so I should be able to do... What do I have to do? I have to do this first. Okay. And then I do this, and this, and this, and boom! Okay, now we've got full netherite armor and a netherite pickaxe. This We're, we're in a pretty good spot. I'm, I'm feeling good about this. So now with this extra durability on our pickaxe, we should be able to do a bit more mining here and there, and it won't take as much of a toll on our pickaxe. Plus, the mending, we should be okay. Like, I think if we repair our pickaxe, it won't ever get degraded at all at this point. Let's see if we can repair it with this. We're in a really good spot, though, honestly. I'm really just hoping we get another Illusioner spawn pretty soon, because, uh, I'd like, uh, I'd like another totem oven dying. <laughs> That'd be kind of nice. So, let's just spend the day gathering a few more resources here. Okay, now I want to do something really cool to uh, finish out this place, so let's actually hop back into the end here. Okay, I want to collect some of these end resources for a fun build project. I don't really know how much I need, but uh, let's just collect a random amount of endstone, I guess. Well, here we go. I didn't want to do anything special, but uh, I made a small little end island. It uh, doesn't look great, but it's just a place to hold the dragon heads. The egg and some of this chorus fruit. You know, I wanted individual, like, biome islands. Uh, I didn't realize the chorus plants would grow so dang tall. And then, of course, we have the nether one over here, which I still have to upgrade a little bit. Uh, it's definitely a bit lackluster. So how about we do that, actually? I think having some lava pools maybe would be really cool. Also, maybe some different biomes, like the warped and crimson blocks. So I'll bring a hoe and some shears so we can collect some of that. Ah, oh, it's such a beautiful privilege finally getting an elytra and just being able to quickly fly around and do fun things like kill a ghast up close. Ah, oh, I love it. It never gets old. <laughs> okay, that should be good. Let's go back to the portal and then also uh, grab a few buckets of lava I think would be good. Okay, let's revamp this island a bit. Why not? Well, this is a total letdown because I'm stupid and forgot you couldn't place any of the, like, crimson roots or, you know, the mushrooms on netherrack. So, uh, yeah. And I don't have any from the nether phase because I didn't have a soap touch pick. So I guess this is what we're going to have to work with and that's all. But you know what? It's good enough for now. Man, this farm is great. After, you know, just a few minutes away from it, I come back and I get so much XP. Okay, with our time very limited in this world, I think I really want to go out with a bang. Well, folks, here we are. We have officially made it to day 100, and I have something really special planned. Uh, you didn't see that. For day 100, uh, why not go out with a bang, like I said? I took all the sand and all the gunpowder I had from this massive farm producing tons of creepers, and, uh, let's say goodbye. I mean, I just gotta see what happens, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is good. Sorry, skeleton. I did a good job with that TNT placement. Uh, anyways. See you later. Just kidding, just kidding. Um, I made a backup of the world. So, if you want to see more, let me know.